Welcome to Grammar Time. In this lesson, we will be learning about simple, compound, and complex sentences. This grammar lesson is designed for grade levels 3 through 5. In this lesson, you will learn to define simple, compound, and complex sentences, identify simple, compound, and complex sentences from the given sentences, and to create and write simple, compound, and complex sentences. First, let us begin with the three basic sentence types. Sentences can be constructed in three ways, simple, compound, and complex. A simple sentence expresses a single, complete thought. Example, that tree is huge. A simple sentence contains only one verb. A simple sentence can also be identified on the basis of subject and predicate. A simple sentence has only one subject and one predicate. Let's look at the example. This tea is black. This T is the single subject of the sentence. Is black is the single predicate of the sentence. Now it's time to look at our second sentence type. A compound sentence consists of two or more independent clauses. These independent clauses convey complete meaning or sense by themselves and can stand alone as sentences. Take a look at our example. I have the map of the fair, but I can't find the dunking booth. Independent clause number one is, I have the map of the fair. Independent clause number two is, I can't find the dunking booth. These clauses are independent clauses and show two independent thoughts. The thoughts are connected to each other. They are of equal importance and can stand alone as sentences. The clauses in a compound sentence are joined using coordinating conjunctions such as and, but, or, so. These conjunctions can be used in the following ways. The conjunction and is used to connect similar ideas. The conjunction but is used to connect opposite ideas. The conjunction or is used to connect equally important choices. And the conjunction so is used to connect equally important results or used for a continuation of an idea. Let's look at some examples of our coordinating conjunctions in action. She completed her homework and she also worked on her project. The road is long but I shall make the journey. We can film a documentary or we can make a short film. This novel is huge so you must make time to read it. Now it is time to cover our third sentence type. A complex sentence has only one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses. The independent clause is also known as the principal clause and the dependent clause is known as the subordinate clause. Let's check out our example. When he heard the news, he was astonished. The principal clause is he was astonished. The subordinate clause is when he heard the news. When he heard the news is a dependent clause because it does not make sense as its own sentence. Subordinate clauses, dependent clauses, often begin with words like although, as if, before, after, because, though, even though, while, when, whenever, during, as soon as, as long as, since, until, unless, where, and wherever. The subordinate clause, when he heard the news, begins with the word when. The subordinate clause cannot stand on its own. It derives its meaning from the principal clause. Let's review our three sentence types. Here are some more examples. Sam walks. This is a simple sentence. Jacob runs. This is another example of a simple sentence. The road was very dusty. Again, this is a longer sentence, but it's still a simple sentence. It was raining that day, and there was also lightning. This is an example of a compound sentence. 
Before she reached her house, they set up a birthday party. This is an example of a complex sentence. I tried to speak Spanish and my friend tried to speak English. This is another example of a compound sentence. And finally, they rested when night fell. This is an example of a complex sentence. Here is what we learned today about the three basic types of sentences. Sentences can be constructed in three ways. Simple sentences, compound sentences, and complex sentences. A simple sentence expresses a single complete thought. A compound sentence consists of two or more independent clauses, also known as coordinate clauses, that can stand on their own. A complex sentence consists of one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses. Ready to give it a try? Great! Now it's your turn. For this activity, you will need paper, pencil, or slates and markers. When you're ready, you'll want to pause the video so you can identify each type of sentence. Remember, read each sentence carefully, then use what you learned in today's lesson to identify each sentence as either a simple sentence, a compound sentence, or a complex sentence. Pause the video now. When you're ready, press play to see the correct answers. Time to check your answers. Let's see how well you did identifying sentences. Number one. When he handed in his homework, he forgot to give the teacher the last page. This is an example of a complex sentence. Number two, Alexander played football, so Janet went shopping. This is an example of a compound sentence. Sentence three, Judy and Maria went to the movies after they finished studying. Here's another example of a complex sentence. Number four, some students like to study in the mornings. This is an example of a simple sentence. Did you get that one correct? And finally, the last two. Number five, after they finished their work, Susie and Mark went to the movies. This is another example of a complex sentence. Number six, Casey drove the big truck. This is another example of a simple sentence. How well did you do? Were you able to identify all six sentences correctly? Congratulations! Now you're able to define simple, compound, and complex sentences, identify simple, compound, and complex sentences, and you're able to create and write your own simple, compound, and complex sentences. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson.